Oh, how disappointing was that after such a bright start? Yes, I mean, you're right. I think uh, first 20, 25 minutes I was on the touchline. I thought, Who, what's going on here exactly? What, I, what we trained in the last couple of days and what we were looking for. We had good possession, good ball movement. And, and after 25 minutes, we lost the control and, and we Scotland took over and put more and more pressure on us. And then the big problem was that we stepped too deep. So we, we were not able to... To, uh, to be more aggressive against the ball out of a higher possession and, uh, position. And I think this was the factor why we lost this game today. Over 90 minutes, ni Scotland for me was the better team because we only were good the first 25 minutes and the last 15 minutes. Overall, I think we gave up the, the three goals too easy. Away from home, you cannot make such mistakes to, to get a good result. But like I said, I mean, everyone is disappointing and congratulations to Scotland. Do you think it still shows a certain naivety with the Israeli team? I mean, at the end, with, with Thomas Hamed's chance, if we would have tied the game, everything would be perfect and, 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 and nice now. We, we, we sit here, we have a long trip home, and we're all disappointed, so it's not a nice situation. We were expecting a, a better performance of us, especially from, like I said, in, in the middle of the game where, where, where Scotland was the better team. but. The problem is always when, when, you, when you don't keep the ball on the ground, what's our strength, then, then it starts getting more and more complicated and then we, we, we were not able to, to defend the three situations for the Scottish team and then they showed their quality. Uh, coach, overall we can see some Good stuff uh, from the team. Uh, maybe the defense, as you said, uh, gave goals too easily. But uh, the second goal gives the team a chance to qualify to the playoffs, you know, with a lot of calculations. But my question is, when you just entered the position, I think that your goal wasn't just to qualify to the Euros or to the playoffs. It's to create maybe better spirit in the team. Do you think that this campaign achieved that or even close to it? I think so. I mean, as a coach, first of all, I mean, the most important thing is to get the results, of course. And I started with two losses, so it was not easy afterwards to, to, to convince the players keeping the way. But after the two wins at home against Albania and, and Scotland, I think there was a, a big boost for us because it was a great team spirit. And we showed it today, too. Even we, we, we had some, a longer moment in the middle of the game where, did it, where we didn't play the way we wanted to play. But the last 20 minutes, again, we showed a great spirit. And with a little bit more of luck, we could have tied. But like I said, for me as a coach, it's, it's important to see some ideas or my philosophy implementing into the team. It's, it's working, but it's not, uh, it was not working good enough. And yet at the end of the game, the shot by Hemed and the great save of McGregor, it was almost there for you. Yes, that's true. I can't say any more because we were expecting such a situation. When we bring in Thomas Hemed, a real number nine, a target player, and with the first long ball, he's already there. I thought I'm dreaming and I was I wanted to push the goal, the ball inside, but it was a great save. And so we, the, the, in this situation, the quality and the luck was on the Scottish set. I don't know if somebody asked that because I entered uh, two minutes ago, but uh, what happened after the first goal uh, of Biram Kial? Because we played well, uh, we did everything right, but what happened then? What do you feel from the pitch? 
I think we only had one more chance when uh, Sahavi played across to Munas Tapur and he didn't touch the ball. This was kind of key moment for us too, but then, like I said, we were not able to control the ball anymore and we didn't have good possession, so Scotland took over, got more and more confidence. I, th I think the first time after 25 minutes was when, when the crowd came behind Scotland and this says everything that we were really good the first 25 minutes but this was not our mistake so we, we, we lost control we, we stepped too deep and Scotland came more and more with more and more energy and we couldn't match up at this time Twenty six years ago you played versus Israel as a, as a player and it was very similar to today uh, match, Israel was so naive, tried to attack against a, a crowd and a, a better team, and f the 5-2, as, as you remember. Yeah. How can you solve the problem of the naive uh, moments of, of, of the Israeli team, like Dasas try to, to attack in 1-1, in, uh, one, one, and uh, we get the second goal, for example? Yeah, so I mean, I'm a coach with an offensive uh, mentality. I want to, my player to take risk, but like, like you said, sometimes we, we, we need to make the right decisions on the field and sometimes my players are over-motivated. They want to press in a situation where it's better to hold, it, hold the position and keep the, the team shape. So in these situations, we, we make some mistakes and at this level, especially away from home, then it's, it's, it's tough to win and that's what we have to fix in the future, of course. I mean, on one side, this high energy, on the other side, high energy with, with, with kind of, of, of being smart because you have to do the right decisions without being too emotional. Uh, coach, when you get back home and talk to your friends and relatives and they'll ask you, so how do you summarize uh, this uh, short adventure? What's the first thing come up, that comes up to your head? The chance from Tom Ahmed for sure. There will be a lot of time now in the next couple of hours in our mind. Not only in mine, I think in everyone, everyone's uh, head in, in Israel because we were in this situation, we were really close to win this group and that would have been perfect. I mean, I, I came in August. I know that a lot of people didn't like me in Israel because I kicked them out with the free kick I took. So for me, it would have been a perfect situation, but we didn't have an, enough luck in this situation, so like I said, uh, congratulations to Scotland. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Bye.